Right, welcome back. Let's see. Ooh, I've lost parts already. In any case, we will find the parts now. So these are these are let me actually read them off here. 32 650s. So they are quite big. Compare them to let me get it. Welcome to our channel. Yes, Fernando. And that's my release. Please join our Flying Nando Facebook group for more frequent updates. Okay. Compared to the 32 650. So the length is the same. Okay, it's just as much thicker. So it's 32 millimeters by 65 millimeters. I don't know why they call it 650. That's beyond me. But in any case, so what I've done, I've got my test over here. I've got 650, uh, 20, 18650. I've got a piece of wood. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove this piece of wood. In there okay and i'm gonna shove the wires in there okay so i can get i can get that to do a test of that these are claimed to be three to be five amps sorry to be five amps so it should be enough for that it's as good as a good three 18650 this series of videos is about lithium ion phosphate cells from the testing of the cells to the first 12 volt 80 amps pack all the way to the 48 volt battery pack not going to cut out much out of these videos as i am trying to keep it real all i am doing is sharing how i build lithium ion phosphate battery packs hoping that my videos can help or inspire someone to do something similar or better it would be easy to edit the video and make it look easy however this would distort what it really takes to complete such a project just to be clear this is not difficult it just takes a little effort. Okay, so I've got four to test. There's the other two. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark them so that we know which one is which. So we're gonna start off number one. We're gonna start off with number two. So there's one, there's two. And there's three and we can pass the little line so and there's four right so let's close it up now instead of making too many complicated connections we can keep this quite simple oh that's screw on this is actually really nice almost negates the fact that uh i bought a spot welder but in any case i'm sure i'll use a spot welder um these are apparently recycled from an electric car not a tesla obviously uh but there's some chinese uh, electric car which is fine which i'm quite okay with as long as the quality is good it's uh, be okay so uh clean these wires up here uh This is how I like to do it. Double up. And with my crimper. And magically, there's my crimper. So, there you go. Now, this is how, see, this is how I like to do it. So you can see the, the conductor copper sticking out there. This crimper I've had for over 30 years. Let's see if we can do that on camera and okay. I like to crimp it where it hasn't been crimped again maybe it's maybe it's useless maybe it's not um, the next leg there and the blue one the blue one's the middle one see the blue one's the middle one 
catch it there, push it in there so you can see the little that one, there's that one, and this clip is right there. I don't clip it right the edge, so I'll clip it again. Okay, there you go, right. That's that. Now on the one side, on the other side, on the one, I'm going to put a... Oh, let me just see which one is it. Or the dust. So your positives on top, your negatives at the bottom, your positive it's got a place to, I uh, can catch on both. It's got a little place to catch, got a little place to catch. I'm gonna put two lugs on this side as well. And here we go, trim to the is a little bit skew, but it's okay, as long as it's, uh, it's not going to be a long term thing, this. Uh, one more lug out of here, nothing fell out there. Uh, yes, I do have quite a collection of lugs, and I don't have everything I need. Well, I buy as I go along, I buy little packets, I buy biggish packets, not little packets, then I've got it home for the next hundred years. Some of these lugs, I think are still leftovers from when I was modifying alternators for my sound system when I completed an SPL. Um, I think I still got some of those left over. In any case, there we go. So now we've got this. So now I hope you can see here. Yeah, I might. Let me see. Okay. Now I've got to be very careful because there's power, these things are they're not fully charged. Um, I don't want to tear it because sometimes they expose the copper. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough. See, see like that. There we go. Right. Ooh. Don't expose the copper there. Okay, right. I'm not going to do this. How am I going to do this? Okay. See, over here, I'm going to put a knot. So they face away from each other. Hopefully they don't touch. If they do touch, we're going to see some sparks, some fireworks. Okay, so putting that in there. So I don't have to look for little nuts and little screws and and hmm. Let me get a meet them. Right, let's do this the careful way. Uh, so twenty. They're not fully charged. Let's just see. So from there to there, that's 3.27. So your negative is your female. Oh, that's typical, eh? So let's just change this. So we don't get confused on the other side. Um, here we go. Hope you guys are being, I'm keeping it in screen. I'm not going to make it too tight because it's top, it's soft. There, and now I'm going to get another battery. Another battery, and I'm going to put the positive on this side. There we go, like that. Just snug. You don't have to over tighten anything. Okay, right, now. We're going to often mess up things. Let's just have a measure. So the black is negative. Red is positive. There we go. You can see the meter. Yeah, you can see the meter. Okay, let me, let me turn the meter over. So it's 3.27. So I'm sure you'll see that in the big screen. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do now, let's take some stuff away from here, make some space. Get the meter. Like that. We're going to do a no test. No test, test. This charges, charges the battery and gives you a complete reading of exactly what they are, which is. The main idea behind this. So, the positive is on top. It doesn't matter which one you use, they're all the same. So, let's see. Let's 
see where we can get to. Okay, that's that. Making nice contact over there, so it looks like it's making nice contact. We bring the positive over this side. To the back, there we go. You see, oh, so it's beautiful. So it's making contact. Now I need to put power to it. Plug in the power. You can see I haven't used it for a while. There we go. Plug in the power there. What I've got here, I've got a towel, ceramic towel here, in case something starts getting uh, stupidly hot. Hopefully, to prevent a fire. Right, let's go. Right. And now we're going to do a no test. Uh, it's upside down for me to see. And I can't read the other way. So when you put it upside down, it makes it worse for me. So I can't read. Okay, right. Now this is it's charging it. Mode. Uh, charge, no. Fast test, no. No test. Okay, so let's bring a no test over there. I'll bring the camera closer so you guys can all see. So it's doing a no test. So what it's going to do is going to discharge. Or charge it, discharge it, and then discharge again, and charge again, and give me a complete reading, and I'll be filming that. So that's what we got. We got a piece of wood with a wire connected over there. The wires go around like that and come onto the battery. So it's, there's nothing on that, on that end. There's nothing on that end. Okay, so I'm using that to connect. It's just easy instead of running around getting little screws. I could get, but this just makes life so much simpler. And then I'm going to test all of them, and I'm going to write on them, and I'm going to give. Uh, I can't give a review because it is what it is. But um, I'll give you a report back on uh, what they look like. They're supposed to be 5 amps. I hope they are. The price is not bad. And then, uh, yeah, I won't be using my spot bottle. I've got other stuff that's going to be spot bottle. But yes, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, oh yes, no, don't go away. Please subscribe. And I'll make it part of this video the results. I'll put the results as part of this video. Thanks very much. Cheers. Here are some of the results of the lithium ion phosphate cell test. At the end there is a sneak preview of the first battery pack, all finished up, and a quick measurement of the voltages. I have already started working on the video of the first battery pack, it just needs to be finished off. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, That would I might just turn the video down. So from the bottom, from the bottom to the top, 13.34, 10, So that's the matter. You can measure all of them, they're all going to give you the same reading because they're all, got a, they're all common.